that we can also see there's a green line being uh, drawn as so, uh, as the pers as this lady moves in the frame so i guess this is how you can hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel so in our previous video we discussed how we can calculate the dwell time of a person inside a video file now in this video we are going to draw the lines from the way, from the from the point where the person started and then we will keep on drawing this until the person has moved out of the frame so the logic of this particular code will be very similar to the one which we have already done in our previous videos for example person detection or uh, calculating the dwell time so what i have done is that i have copy pasted the the code from the previous uh, videos and then i'm just going to modify this code from here now in order to draw the line for a person's bounding box we will take two variables so first variable will obviously be our object so first variable will obviously be our list which will hold the values of all the object ids which we have detected and then another one will be our centroid dict and this will be the default dict so i will take default dict now the logic is very simple oops now the logic is very simple what we will do as soon as we detect the persons and we have the bounding box we will simply use those coordinates of coordinates of the bounding box in order to calculate the centroid we will keep on saving those centroid points which will be x and y inside this default dict and then we will simultaneously keep on drawing the line so what we will do is inside so once we have uh, the results from our tracker we will put all our logic inside this for loop and again you can download all this code and the video files and everything from the github repository i have uh, linked in the description box so let's start by calculating the cx and cy which is basically the centroid of the person detected so cx will be our int x1 plus x2 divided by 2.0 similarly cy will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2.0 so we have the cx and the cy what we will do we will draw a circle so that we know that uh, this is the center of that particular person so for that we will use cv2 dot circle first parameter is frame another parameter is our point so cx and cy then the parameter is uh, thickness and then for color okay so once we have the circle drawn now we will also <coughs> append these cx and cy values into our centroid dict uh, which we created along with the object id because we don't want to lose the object id as well okay so once we have this we will simply check whether the object id which is currently being tracked is already present inside our object id list or not so for that we will simply use the logic if object id not in object id list if it's not there then we will simply append it and we will calculate the start point and the end point so start point will obviously be the cx and the cy and because this is the first time it's being uh, tracked so the end point will also be the cx and the cy and we will simply draw a line so cv2 dot line frame and start point end point and then the color so let's take i guess green color 
and then the thickness now if the object id is already there so what we will do we will not go inside this if loop we will instead go inside the else loop so inside the else loop we will first calculate the length of our centroid dict which has this object id and we will use a for loop to basically get all the points we have inside the centroid dict we will calculate their start and end point and then simply keep on drawing the line so this is how this whole uh, logic works So what we will do, we are just, you know, ignoring the first point because we already have that. So we'll start from the second point. So now we have to calculate the start point and start point will be centroid dict object ID point zero. So this will be my X point, which is CX and similarly, let me just copy this and one so this will give me the value of cx and this will give me the value of cy so cx and cy will make my start point now similarly we will use the end point so end point will be let me just copy this whole line and i'll paste it here now my endpoint will be one index greater than the current index. So let's say if PT this point is zero, then my endpoint will be plus one. So this will give me my endpoints. Now at the end, what we have to do, we we simply have to draw this line as well. So I will copy this this whole line from here, and then we'll paste it here perfect so i guess this is all we need from the code perspective let me just quickly revise what we are doing so once we have the tracker we are getting all the x1 and i mean all the coordinates of the person here we are calculating the cx and cy which is basically the centroid of the bounding box and then initially we are just drawing a circle to represent that this is the centroid now after that because we also have to draw the line so we are uh, inside this default dict we are appending all our centroid points and then we are using this if else loop so if if it goes inside this that means that is the first time the person is being tracked so we will simply draw the line by calculating the start and the end point and obviously the start and the end point will be the same for the first frame for the second frame obviously this will change because the person will move a bit forward so we will first calculate the length of the centroid dict for that particular object which means how many points we have collected for that uh, for that uh, person now we will use a for loop for all of those points which we have collected and then we will calculate the start point and the end point and then we'll simply draw the line so let's open up a terminal and let's try to run this code to see if it goes fine or not Okay, so it has loaded up the window, which means there are no errors. So let's see if it draws the uh, lines for the person or not. Perfect, so we have an error here. Let me quickly check what this error means. Line number 133, Okay, so after resolving some of the issues, let's try to run the code again. Perfect, the window has now started. Let's see. Perfect, so we can see that the lady is now coming and we can also see the green dot just at the center of this, the bounding box, which we have obviously not drawn. But along with that, we can also see there's a green line being uh, drawn as, as, the as this lady moves in the frame. So I guess this is how you can track a person's movement inside a particular fr frame from where he started, from where he moved out of the frame and you can also keep a record of this as well.
so i guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel